Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video you'll see how I'm building my jungle terrain project for the Imperial Guard using some homemade buildings and some awesome pieces from March of War. If you were following along with my Imperial Guard build, then I paused a little bit because I was waiting for that codex to come out. I really thought it would be out by now, but we're not going to get it until December. But now we have an actual date. I'm jumping back on and I'm preparing a terrain board, the jungle terrain scene that I've been planning for a while for my Katachans and the rest of the Imperial Guard to fight in. I was watching a couple of bat reports from Winter's SEO where he featured James from March of War. So I thought it'd be cool to reach out to James and see if he wanted me to feature some of his terrain in my Astra Militarum project. And he sent me some really cool stuff to look at. I'm really grateful for what he sent. And if you haven't seen that bat report, check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description and comments. Well worth watching. Brilliant bat reports. As well as links to Winter's SEO's YouTube channel, I'll put some links to March of War website and Facebook page so you can have a look at the full range of products. But here's the products that we're going to look at today. A huge bundle sent out by James, so thanks again for sending me these. They're going to look so cool on the battlefield. So in this video, I'll run through everything. We'll get it all opened up and have a close look at each piece. I'll show you how to prepare it, and then I'll show you what other terrain I'm building to go alongside it. And then I'll do another video later on where I get this painted as well, and then you can see the whole process now from start to finish. First up, we've got some ammo crates. We've got two packs of these and you're gonna get three pieces in there, all fully formed. And the good thing with this is you don't have to build any of it. It's already done for you. So it's just a case of preparing it, cleaning it up and then getting it painted. So let's get it all out and we'll have a look at it. Now these are premium products. They're high detail resin casts and they're already based and ready to go for your tabletop games. So James also does sculpts, casts and commission painting. So definitely check out his website and you can see some great stuff on there. But here we go, here's the little scatter pieces. They're also great to get a little bit of cover from maybe, um, but certainly, you know, you're not gonna get completely hidden by these, but they're great to feature and really brings a battlefield to life. I think alongside the buildings you'll see later on in the video, these are really gonna give me the detail I need to put across a jungle base. In each pack, you're gonna get this little welcome note thanking you for the purchase and just reminding you to wash the bases in warm soapy water and allow to dry completely before painting. Very important for these resin casts to do this. And so I'll be doing that and I'll just use a toothbrush. I'll show you later on quickly how we did it. Next, we've got some junkyard tire barricades. So these are really cool. If you like kill team and orcs, this might be good to fit in with them, but it's certainly gonna work with the Imperial Guard as well. We've got some kind of workshop situation going on. We're gonna be fixing the vehicles. So yeah, I think these will match really nicely. And they can also go outside the base as if some like impromptu barricades amongst the trees just to stop those hordes of Tyranids or orcs coming in and attacking the base in full. Here's a close up so you can see the details on the tires. You've got all the treads and everything really well done. And then of course all the base itself is done as well. So you don't have to worry about gluing or using sand or paste or anything like that. Everything's completed. You even got little oil cans dotted around. So some really nice features amongst this. Next we've got sandbag barricades and we've got lots of these. Perfect for Imperial Guard, really good some of these specifically for the Krieg. I think they'll fit in really well with that aesthetic. But yeah, these are going to work really nicely. And this is going to start to form little uh, bunkers, little barricades and structures in between the main buildings. And this is going to give cover to the models as they move from one building to the next or hold the line against the swarms. So here it's all organized now. You can see we've got some that are straight pieces. We've got the barricades and the ammo crates, some little L shapes so you can make some little uh, boxes and stuff to put your models in. So that's really cool. And then we've got on the other side, some details with the handles and the nice skull and Aquila. Then we've got this one, which is mostly sandbags with some little mini ammo crates. And then this wheel here, which really fits in with the Krieg, I think you could imagine that on one of their guns and then some smaller ones here. So you can put these together, link them up into all different shapes, and you can really cover a large area with these. Let's get up close and have a look. So you can see really nice detail in, on the cast. You've got the large artillery shells, you've got weapons dotted around, ammo crates, 
So really cool pieces. I think these are going to be great when they're painted and all the textures there. So literally for me, it's going to be prime contrast paint, dry brush, and we're good to go. Check out these chunky beasts. These are probably my favorite pieces. It was so cool to get these. I didn't know what James was sending. So it was really exciting to unpack it and see all this good stuff in here. But these are really awesome. I saw these on the Winters SEO battle report and I really liked how they looked. You've got two different bunker types. Each come with a lid that's removable. One is covered in sandbags, a little bit newer, it's fresh on the line, whereas this one has seen some things, it's had some battle damage, and yeah, this has taken a few rounds there, it's really been hammered away. Now this isn't just great for 40k, looking at it certainly would be good for bolt action too, I reckon. So you can fit your miniatures inside, they can shoot out, you're going to get lots of cover, and they're going to look really great amongst all these other pieces and the buildings that we're coming to later on in the video. I love how crisp the floor has come out in here. This grid inside is super crispy and then all the weapons and everything as well. Real chunky piece this. I just trimmed that off, really easy to cut off. It looks like it's chunky and you might saw it off, but I just used my clippers and that piece came away really easy there. So no problem at all. But yeah, some really nice details to bring out later on. So we prepared the model, here's my boy helping me out, and we just cleaned it in some hot soapy water, got the toothbrush, give it a really good scrub, and then let it dry overnight before we primed it. And here's my other boy wanting to get involved too, bit camera shy though, there's Barney, the dog in the corner. And um, yeah, so we just cleaned it all up, and then got that all ready to prime, and you'll see it painted in the next video. This terrain from March of War is going to go with some Nissen bunkers and I just used some cardboard and just made these up pretty quick actually. I had some corrugated cardboard to use and so I thought I'd make a shell with all these cardboard pieces. And I'm just going to hot glue those different curved sections around this piece. I scored some lines, folded it over and that's going to wrap around nicely and then I'll cover it in the corrugated card for that corrugated iron effect and I think this will work really nicely. So I just used the hot glue to prop up those curved pieces and I put four along the main chunky bit. This is going to be five inches high, perfect for obscuring. And then once I've got that all nice and set, I started to wrap the cardboard around it and then glued it in place as I went along. So I first of all, I did the straight edges and then I glued the round bits and I just trimmed off this bit so it fitted flush and then glued it down and then that went together really neatly with a nice finish. And then I started to make three smaller ones. And these are almost for like the troop quarters, if you like. We've got one workshop and some troop quarters. And then once that was in place, I started putting on all the corrugated cardboard pieces. Again, just gluing it in place, snipping around, using little strips to hide any joins. And then I went all the way around the big model and just made sure that was completely covered. Again, just hot glue over the whole amount. Use quite a lot of hot glue, but it's so cheap, like 10 pence a stick. Then a big strip on the top to finish it off. You could also place some models up there. That flat bit is going to help with that. And then I did the same process on the smaller ones and then added a few doors at the end and we're good to go. So I'm just going to prime this up with some green spray and then just dab on some metallic paint with a sponge just to give it a little chipped effect. Put some stencils on it, add some posters and we're ready to go. And I think combining this with all the terrain from March of War is just going to look awesome. Plus that Morok terrain, some trees and we've really got a nice jungle theme going on for the Katachan to get stuck into. I hope you enjoyed seeing this terrain from March of War. It's really cool to be able to share an independent creator and business like March of War and James. He does some great work and this is something I really want to do more of here on the channel. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you go and check out his website and come and join me again for part two of this video where I'll go through exactly how I get this painted and you'll see the buildings painted as well and I'll put it all next to that Kill Team Morok terrain so you can have a good idea of what the whole set will look like. So thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one and don't forget to hit the notification bell too to join me here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.